Welcome to AgriTech YouTube channel. Before we start, please look below and click on the like button so that we can begin. Also, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel so we can start. How to start pig farming in Nigeria? Pig farming is the raising and breeding of domestic pigs. It is a branch of animal husbandry. Pigs are raised principally as food. Example are pork, bacon, and gammon, and sometimes they are raised for their skin. In a typical pig herd, there are the males which are known as boa, and the females are known as souls, and the little pig are known as piglets or farrows. Pig farming is very lucrative. You can get up to 200 new pigs in a year. Even with the small herd, and that's a lot of money if you are able to grow them to the right size and sell them. Now we are looking at location for sighting your pig farm. For location, the first thing you need to do is finding a suitable location for breeding your pigs. Please do not try to do this at home. Why? The reason is because pigs can be very smelly and you will be sure to receive a lot of complaints and process and protests from your neighbors because of the smell and noise your piggery would generate. So instead of causing great discomfort to others, look for a farmland for your piggery. Just one plot of land would be enough for a small scale piggery. But if you are opting for a large scale of farming business, make sure you purchase a land that is large enough to allow for spacing grazing and feeding for selecting a location to start your pig farm you must ensure that the location is sufficient in supply of fresh air and clean water and it will be better if there is any pond lake or other water source available Check if the selected area will be very near to the market. Check for good transportation system. Also make sure it is far from residential area. Also make sure foods are available near the farmland. And also check for veterinary services if they are close to the area you want to site your pig farm. Now for the housing. The shelter that you would build for your pigs is known as pig pen. This would keep your pigs safe from the elements of weather and other diseases or contamination. You may build your pen with iron or concrete depending on which one you prefer and find more affordable. When constructing your pig pen, ensure that you build a proper drainage for the pigs where all the waste can pass through. Pigs love to play in water, so you should consider building a water pool in your pig pen for them to play in and stay healthy. The water pool should be changed regularly and kept clean at all times. You can also allow the pigs to come out of the pen and play outdoors sometimes, but be sure to guide them closely so that they don't wander off. Also, in addition to their housing, housing is very important for commercial pig farming in Nigeria. A good house can keep them healthy, productive, and free from adverse climate and all types of predators. Housing also helps the pig to keep them warm during winter season and cool temperature. It also helps to keep moderate temperature during excessive heat in summer season. Pigs are very sensitive to heat and they may become sick and die due to excessive heat or cold temperature. Controlled and moderate temperature can help to maximize the growth and production from pig farming businesses. Pigs can be raised both indoors and in individual stores, pen or barn. In the case of raising pigs in outdoor, they need special type of shelter during hot and cold weather. Keep sufficient space for feeding and bedding space. 
pigs are generally pigs generally like dry bed so always try to keep their house and bed dry also make a suitable system for protecting from extreme humidity heat and cold for indoor pig farming system make proper and sufficient ventilation system in the house ensure sufficient flow of fresh air and light inside the house make a proper drainage inside the house to keep the house dry good sanitation system inside the house is very important for pig farming make housing with good sanitation facility so that you can easily clean the house after you get a location and build a pig house for the pigs now you need to get your piglets that you raise into matured pigs to start your piggery you will need healthy pigs which you can get from other pigs around you ensure that the piglets you buy are healthy and have been well taken care of you should also ask for their vaccination history record to be sure that they have taken their vaccination and the history is up to date you will need to buy both male and female pigs the number of piglets you need to purchase will depend on the size of your pen because pigs can multiply very quickly pig farmers with as can start as low as with one male and one female or as many as 50 each depending on the scale of pig farming you want to go into for breeding breeding is the process whereby pigs um, have sexual intercourse to produce young piglets breeding of pigs are easy and simple generally the gestation period of pigs are not more than 100 and 15 days that is they are not pregnant more than 115 days after 115 days they give birth so give birth to piglets twice a year and produce more than 10 kids each time after delivery the kids will feed on the breast milk for their first nine weeks of age after completing the grower stage of piglets the sow becomes suitable for mating again Now for the feeding, you are in luck when it comes to pig feeding because of things that human beings can eat, pigs can also eat them. So we don't have to start worrying about getting any special feed for them. However, it is important to pay special attention to their nutritional needs. They need to be fed a balanced diet with classes of food like protein, for bodybuilding, carbohydrate for growth and strength, vitamins, minerals and fiber. Now you can get local foods or food remnants whichever way you want and there are also leaves that you can feed your pigs with. The leaves you can get for them include um, purple leaf, amaranthus, potato leaf, mulberry, cassava leaf, water leaf, yam leaf, plantain leaf, corn leaf, and corn stem. If you have not done so, kindly subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. So here are the different species of pig you can choose from. We have Chester White, Yorkshire, Duroc, Landrace, Spotted, and Berkshire. So these are different kind of pig housing. Make sure you choose the appropriate one that um, suits you best. This is also another type of housing. You can also choose them. So that is all on pig farming, how to start pig farming, pig farming for beginners. I hope you've learned a lot. Please kindly look at the subscribe button below. Subscribe and also share these videos to your friend. It could be educating. It could help someone out there. Thank you very much. You can check out my other videos on pig farming. And um, also check back later and see if I post new videos. Thank you.